Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to Giraffe Attack. We are here in Rex on site in the local parking lot for a very exciting video that we teased a while back. Um, I'm here joined by the illustrious and the lovely, you all know him, it's Lemur. How's it going everybody? So what we are doing today is we are doing a Mountain Dew taste test, and not just any Mountain Dew taste test, an exclusive Mountain Dew taste test. So we could be tasting just boring old Mountain Dew, but what's the fun in that? Everybody's had Mountain Dew. So what we've done is we've gone to every fast food chain in the area, and some not fast food chains in the area, that have their own exclusive flavors, and we're going to be taste testing the exclusive Mountain Dew flavors from some of these areas. We have Baja Blast from Taco Bell, Sweet Lightning from KFC, we have Purple Thunder from Circle K, we have Mountain Dew Berry Monsoon from Sam's Club, and then Mountain Dew Legend from Buffalo Wild Wings. Now, uh, I do want to give a little bit of an apology to a friend, uh, David, in this video. Uh, he donated a giant two liter bottle of Mountain Dew Uproar, which is the exclusive Mountain Dew flavor of Food Lion. Unfortunately, due to circumstances, we were not able to have it in this video. Um, but I am still gonna try it, and you know, I might post a, uh, I might post a short of me trying that on my Instagram channel, and Lemur's gonna try it at some point. Um, so we are trying it, but we will not be reviewing it today. Um, but that's okay, you know, because not everybody has Food Lion, but almost everybody should have Circle K, you know, KFC, you know, most of these places are everywhere. Maybe not Sam's Club. But, you know, most of these places are exclusive. So, um, where do you think we want to start, Lemur? Well, I'm, and I'll throw this out there. I was just thinking, because it's so ubiquitous and everybody knows it, should we start with Baja Blast as a baseline? I think so, yeah. Okay. Everyone's had Baja Blast. That's kind of, that's kind of just a very... Baja Blast may... I don't, I cannot confirm this. I should have done the research. Baja Blast might be the original exclusive flavor. Really? I don't know that. I'm going to hand you that. But like, when you say exclusive Mountain Dew flavors, that's what people think of. Yeah, yeah. They think of Baja Blast. So, um, yeah, I'll hold the glasses if you would like, our little cups, because we're not schlups. And we're going to, you, if you want to do the little, if you want to, if you want to give us a little pour action. For this one, sure thing, bro. Ah, yeah, Mountain Dew. Uh, Wood's a little Mountain sticky Dew, uh, on here. KFC likes. Man, I'm just butchering it all. Taco Bell <laughs> really likes to uh, keep let their lids be on tight. Yeah. Which I'm not usually an ice guy with mine, but um, I didn't think about that before I ordered these. So we're just gonna, you know. Just gonna let it let it happen. You know, they might be a little watered down. Most of these aren't well I don't have ice though, I don't, I think. Yeah. Everybody's had Mountain Dew Baja Blast before. So uh yeah, let's give it a little little cheers. It's good. Oh. I mean, everybody's had Baja Blast. Um, well, I'll let you give your first thoughts. I mean, you know, it's one of those things that's so good that Taco Bell actually allowed it to be put into, like, cans and stuff and be sold, like, on store shelves for a time. It's one, it's, it's one of those things that's like, you can't get enough of it because it's exclusive, you know? Yeah. I am going to throw this out there, though. I can't tell you the last time I had just straight, plain, green Mountain Dew. If you put this in a can, okay, and labeled it as green Mountain Dew, I don't know if I could tell you that this wasn't normal Mountain Dew. I mean, normal Mountain Dew, it's a different, like, I have to disagree with you there. Mountain Dew, like, just the original flavor, it has, like, this very specific kind of taste to it that you don't get from Baja Blast. It's, Baja Blast, like, has a lighter color. It's more like a teal green. 
it's a, like a radioactive green, you know? Yeah. And like, I don't know, let's say it's more like, like key lime. Or it's like regular Mountain Dew has a very like orangey. Yeah, kind yeah, of flavor. I see that. Which that is actual, or that is an actual thing. They do use orange juice in Mountain Dew. Yeah, or at least like orange flavored. Anyways, I doubt there's any actual juice in it. But um, scale of one to ten, you know, we still got a few more to go through. As a baseline, scale of one to ten, what, where, where does this rank for you? I'd say it's definitely better than regular flavor Mountain Dew, by far. Um, I'd probably go middle of the road, give us like a five, five point five. Yeah, I'd give it a five. Now, as far as purchasing this again, what are you going to rate it? Oh, that's easily a seven. Yeah. That's easily yeah, a that, seven. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Like, it's kind of middle of the road because of how ubiquitous it is. But at the same time, if you go to Taco Bell and you don't get Baja Blast... What like, are you doing with your life? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's, it's like... And the worst part is Mountain... They have regular Mountain Dew. So, like, at least if you're not going to get Baja Blast, you, okay, let's say you get Pepsi or you get, like, tea. Okay, maybe. If you go to Taco Bell and you get regular Mountain Dew, I don't think you should be allowed back. No. That's... Definitely. Yeah, Definitely. that's, like, a sin against humanity, I think. But, um, yeah, I would agree with you on the rating five just because of how ubiquitous it is it's almost as standard in our world as regular mountain dew at this point kind of basically yeah buying it again yeah it's like an eight for me like i if i go to taco bell i get baja blast you that's, that's what you do you get a quesarito you get a baja blast and then you get diarrhea you know that <laughs> hold on now crunch wrap supreme with steak semantics we're here to taste test Mountain Dews. This one, you know, middle of the road as far as flavor, buyability, hunt, like it's it's pretty high up there. Yeah. Now, let's go to something that some people may let's you know let's go a little bit further away from from the traditional side of things and break out this bad boy right here. This is the Circle K exclusive purple thunder now they sell it in bottles you can get it in a bottle in the store you can get it in even a smaller container but you know when you go to circle k okay think of it like the baja blast when you go to taco bell you get a baja blast right when you go to circle k if you're not getting the 44 ounce for 89 cents if you're paying the 239 for the bottle like what are you doing you go like, if you're not getting gas at Circle K, you're getting one of these and you're getting, like, a honey bun. That's the only reason you go, you Basically, know? Basically, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I should have thought about this when I filled this, but this is very full. Uh, so, I'm just going to use a little technique that I've invented where you just crack the side a little bit. And Ooh. I'm, I'm going to pour a little in. And, of course, I spilled it all over myself. <laughs> Big brain. <laughs> Ah, the chaos ensues, guys. Get the napkins. Get the napkins. Yeah, you know, I'm the one single dude who doesn't keep napkins in his car. It's fine. It's just going to it's gonna be a little sticky down below, guys. But it's all right, you know. Uh, well, I'm not going to pour it like that. <laughs> Woohoo! Here you go. There we go. All thrills, no spills this side. Alrighty, guys. If you will do me the honors of holding this. Hey, we're gonna like cut the video here for like a split <laughs> second. Don't worry, guys. We'll be right back because I'm an idiot. And we're back and we're still moist. The britches <laughs> don't dry. But hey, what you gonna do? Anyways, this is Mountain Dew Purple Thunder from. Circle K. Um, I guess we didn't really say this with Baja Blast because I assume everyone knows, but do you know what flavor Baja Blast is? I believe it's like... 
Maybe everyone does it. Well, I mean, it's purple, so the first instinct is no, to say Baja great. Black. No, I'm saying Baja Blast. Oh. Um, I don't know. I thought it was supposed to be like a key lime or lemon lime type deal. Okay, yeah. Uh, I know Mountain Dew is like basically lemon lime, and I think that's like supposed to be like a like a more like key lime, citrusy. I, I don't really know. The, the reason I bring that up, though, is Mountain Dew Purple Thunder from Circle K, it is marketed as a berry plum flavor that's berry um, plum that's right. yes so um this is this is a staple like i if i had a dollar for every time that i have drank mountain dew purple thunder i would have never had to pay for mountain dew thunder um because it's a dollar but um anyways cheers mate cheers so good it's 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 so it's so good like I, like it's yeah that's why i'm taking small sips i'm making it last i don't know why i have to make it last i've got so much mountain dew here <laughs> but because i've had this where where are you going Now, keep into account, I bought this beforehand. There wasn't ice in it. Hmm. But. I mean, it is pretty good. I don't know if. I don't know if it's necessarily my favorite. I think that would probably go to a, one of the other flavors here that I've had before. Um, it is pretty good. I don't, I don't know if I really get plum, but I do get berry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I love this stuff, which I might be biased just because I drink it so much, um, which, sad to say, Lemur and I are actually not going to be drinking sodas or anything but water for a long time after this video. We're doing a little water challenge thing where we're drinking a kiloliter of water and we can't drink anything else until we do so, uh, which is why we're filming this video now to sort of kickstart that off. We're getting our sugar high fix now. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I love this stuff, though. Flavor wise, for me, this this easily uh, easily like if Baja Blast is a five because of how ubiquitous it is, this is newer than Baja Blast. It will become just as ubiquitous, uh, so because because of just it being in Circle K and that's how of it like Circle K is everywhere. So I'm giving this like a I give this like a six and a half as far as flavor goes i don't know if i like it better than baja blast i i think i like it about as much i don't think i like it better okay but i suppose for the sake of for the sake of having to put it somewhere i think i would probably put it i mean you can you can rate it the same it's up to you it's your your initial reaction. What you think? I mean, okay, I haven't had this as much, so it is newer to me than Baja Blast is. So I think just for that, I would put it at like a five point five, maybe a six. Okay, so I get the six and a half. We'll go with the with your five point five by ability. For me, this is like a nine. Like if I go to Circle K, I get one, even if I already have it. Like, you, you just do. You get it. Mm. Well, actually, okay. We said it was a 7 for Baja Blast. I'm going to give it an 8, okay? I will give this a buyability as an 8. Only because you don't necessarily go into Circle K as often as you get fast food. And so, like, Taco Bell, like, I feel like... If you go to Taco Bell, you do get a Baja Blast. If you go to a gas station, sometimes you don't get a drink. But if you do get a drink, you do get this. So I'm going to give it... Man. So yeah, I'm going to give it like... A... Yeah, I'm going to give it an 8. I'm not going to rank it as high. 
I think for me it will be the same. It's higher than the Baja Blast for me because you can get so much more of it. Yes. You can get a 32 ounce of this Purple Thunder for, versus like yeah, it's like a dollar to like get a lot like a large a large Taco Bell uh, soft drink is still going to be significantly less. It's going to be less and it's like 240 for one of those. So it's kind of not. Yeah, so you're getting more bang for your buck. Yeah. So for that I give it an 8. Okay. So so far our reigning champ would be the Purple Thunder. So far. So far. Where do you want to go next, Lemur? Hmm. Well, we want ubiquitous. We want a little bit more niche. How about we go slightly less available? Okay. Slightly. Go for the Sam's Club. Okay. Uh, I'm going to set my cup down because we don't need them. Yeah. This is the Sam's Club beverage. Now, it used to come... We are in tragic times. It used to come in a cup the size of our Circle K, but they have they have they have brought it down a little bit. But this is Berry Monsoon Mountain Dew from Sam's Club. Bruh. Get a little bit in the cup so they can see the color of it. Oh. I guess it's actually about the same as the uh Baja Blast, funny enough. Uh, it's slightly more blue. It's way, way more blue. It's very blue. Oh, okay, yeah, it is. It is definitely more blue. But it's um, yeah. Again, these are all exclusive flavors, so it's kind of like if you go to that place, you have to get that flavor. But this one, not necessarily as much, because it is a little more niche. It's way more sweet than any of the other flavors, in my opinion. I get it every time because I'm a sugar freak. I see lots of people go to Sam's Club and they just get like a Dr. Pepper or a Pepsi Max or whatever. Mm. Flavor profile. The best way I've heard it described is if you ever get the blue raspberry dum-dums, it's essentially if you melted that down into Mountain Dew. I'd say this is like the Kool-Aid of Mountain Dews. It tastes very much like carbonated Kool-Aid. Yeah. It has a what flavor? I couldn't tell. It has a very but... high C-esque nature to it. It's pretty good, though. Yeah. Flavor profile, as far as like just taste-wise goes, what are you ranking this? I'd say it has more punch than the uh, very It's monster. definitely stronger than well, the, the Purple Thunder. Purple Thunder, yeah. As geez. far as sweetness goes. So. But this is all based on your preferences and your taste. I mean, okay, okay. This has more punch to it, but I feel like the the uh, Purple Thunder is more refreshing. So I it think is. I think I probably rate this one. I don't know. You know what? I think I'm going to move my... Purple Thunder ranking up to like a 6.5 and put this one at a 5.5. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to bump. Yeah, I love Purple Thunder. So I'm bump. My Purple Thunder is going to get bumped up to about a 7. Um, and that's going to go at like about a 6. So right now, as far as flavor goes, I'm giving Baja Blast a 5 because it's so ubiquitous, even though it's good. I'm giving Purple Thunder a 7 because it's so refreshing and such a good flavor. And then the Berry Monsoon is at a 6 right in the middle just because it's very like, it's a good flavor, but it's a little much, honestly, sometimes. Yeah, it's yeah. It's very like, like, like the Berry Monsoon is tasty, but the Purple Thunder is more drinkable. Yes, yes. The Berry Monsoon is good. But you don't necessarily want as much Berry Monsoon as you would have, like, say, Purple Thunder. As yeah. far as buyability, I give it a five. It's very middle of the road. You, if you, you gotta have a Sam's Club membership to get it. You have to be going in there hungry to want to get it, because if you're not grocery shopping, unless you're a psycho like me, you're not just going in there just to get pizza and, and a drink. 
usually you're going into Sam's to get food. So you got to be hungry. Like you, it's a specific type of hunger. You have to want Sam's food and you have to have the membership, which I think discarded a few points on viability. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think for that reason, I'd probably rate it lower on viability than, uh, Taco Bell. Yeah, so I because did. like Taco Bell, it's very accessible. There's like one on basically every corner, yada yada, so on and so forth. Yeah, I give it about a five on viability. Yeah, yeah. what 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 did I rate a Taco Bell for viability? Taco Bell, we gave a really high ranking. We gave it like a seven. Yeah, yeah. So I I probably give a Sam's Club a five. Yeah, same as you. All right. Well. We are both biased. Okay. We have pre-notions going into this. Whether Lemur is willing to admit it or not, we both have gone into this video with one thing on our brain. We think that the Mountain Dew Sweet Lightning from KFC is going to be the winner. <laughs> There's no, we're not going to front. We think it's going to be the best. Yeah, no, we definitely have some preconceived notions, some biases about it. And it has nothing to do with him working at KFC in the past. It's just, it's special. I say, for the sake that we haven't had Mountain Dew Legend from B-dubs yet, ever, we save that for the end as a, like a sort of like fancy grand finale thing. I say, because we have that preconceived notion, let's go ahead and get it out of the way. Yeah. yeah let's get it out of the way now. So yeah, let's do it. I'm just going to pop the top on this bad boy gingerly pour so I don't spill it on myself. Wow, that just looks straight like the butter soda that we had. <laughs> or not the butter soda. The, this straight up looks like the corn soda we drank. It does. <laughs> it does. Bro. It looks oh like other goodness. things and we're not gonna... We are not children. <laughs> we are not children. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is if it does look like that... <laughs> Maybe you need to drink more water like Lemur and I are going to be doing. That's all That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, see, this is this is the reason why we are doing the one kilometer of water challenge. Yes. we. When you drink all of the Mountain Dews, <laughs> this is what it ends up looking like. Any, anyway. Cheers. Cheers. Now, wait. What specifically do they market this flavor as? It is peach and honey. Okay, Mountain Dew, Sweet Lightning, Peach and Honey. Man, this is, I can't tell you the last time I had this, which is sad. It's... Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so good! It smells so good! <laughs> Down the hatch. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Tastes like an orchard. That's, that's not what I thought you were gonna say. Oh my god! It's so good, bro. Mmm. Oh my gosh! It's so good, dude. <laughs> You don't get you don't get very much honey from it, but you boy is this bursting with peach flavor. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. So because we we gotta clear clear some up here. So is KFC as accessible as Taco Bell? I think the food is a little bit more expensive. Depending on what you buy. So are they as like available like widespread? I feel like they probably are. I mean, there's at least three here in the, here in town. Okay. Okay. So, I would say, as far as the drink goes, it's basically just about as accessible as Taco Bell. So, that's, you know, the neck and neck right there. Flavor-wise, Baja Blast does not hold a candle to the absolute forest fire that is Mountain Dew Sweet Lightning. <laughs> yeah, no, I I think this is top tier. I'm going to put this at like a nine for flavor. Like, I got to leave a little bit of room for the uh, 
for the legend. I'm gonna but... I'm gonna give this an eight for flavor <laughs> because I'm I'm holding out hope that Buffalo Wild Wings, with how long it took me to get that beverage, is going to blow me out of the water. Hopefully, I don't know that it's possible. This is so. I haven't had this since. Man, this is amazing. This is so good. By ability, this is the crazy thing. You go to any of these places, you have to get their exclusive flavor, supposedly. You know, not necessarily with Sam's. Like, the idea is you get their exclusive flavor if you get food. Lemur will attest to this, though. Lemur has gone out of his way to get this beverage without buying KFC food. I am now thinking to myself why I haven't done that yet. So this is so special that you will drive to a KFC, mind you, and get it just for this. And it's more expensive than Purple Thunder, just like most of these are. But the price is worth it, I think. Oh, it definitely is. Especially if you go to like... Like, especially if you're, like, dining in at KFC. Like, if you get the food, free refills, my guy. And f when it's straight out of the fountain, man, by ability, this is also going to be, like, a nine. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, this by ability is, is a nine. Flavor eight for me. He said a nine. Like, man, that's, that is so good. Like, when I worked at KFC, when we got this, when we started selling this... This was all I was drinking. I was, like, on a water kick. This got me off of my water kick. It might explain a lot, but that's beside <laughs> the point. Gosh, you ever. It's it's so good. Like, it's, it's so <sighs> freaking good. Wow. Oh, that's so special. I feel like we need... I, I feel like we need new tasting cups now, just because... The flavor of this is yes. stuck in. Yes, which luckily I have some. So here, we'll just stack those, and if you'll throw those away whenever you need to throw yeah. them. Um, new tasting cups for our final beverage. We haven't had this yet. No. I'm actually excited, you know? Because even if it's not, which like... Even if it's not sweet lining, it should still be pretty good. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be a, nice, a nice new thing. This is which I'm going to do a little swap a -roo here just to make it a little even. This is Mountain Dew Legend from Buffalo Wild Wings, uh, marketed as a, um, uh, what did I say it was? What did you say it was? Blackberry Citrus. That's, That's it. what it is. That's the one. Gingerly not spill this on myself. Wow. That wow. That is a color. <laughs> wow. That is straight up black Mountain Dew. Well, I don't know if I'd say it's black black. I mean it's probably showing up on a camera that way, but it's it's like a very dark, like molasses brown. Dang. What is it? Ooh. That's a smell, bro. That's actually a Wow. Hey, who knows? Maybe Buffalo Wild Wings is about to, like, rip our scale into pieces. That does smell pretty good. Cheers. Cheers. Down the hatch. Hmm. <laughs> that is... Yeah, just a little bit watered down. It's very watered down due to the the ice in the brevage. Hold on, I have an idea. I'm going to try something without spilling this on myself. Hopefully not having some ice in it. 
will help a little bit. You got to really drink it hard to get a lot of the flavor. Dang. The smell is deceptive. Yeah, I think you know. I I think you and me are thinking the same same thing. <laughs> we're thinking the we're thinking the same thing. This is one. There's not Buffalo Wild Wings just out there. Yeah, like KFCs and and Taco Bells. Two. Buffalo Wild Wings is not fast food. If you want Buffalo Wild Wings, you got to make an effort. It's like it's an ordeal. And it's kind of not really that great of an ordeal, if you ask me. But hey, we're not reviewing fast food places right now. Mm -hmm. um, it also took me a hot minute to get this. I placed this mobile order like 30 minutes before we got there. And I walked inside and they didn't even have it ready. I told the lady I needed it. She took forever, you know. Flavor profile. Smell? Very deceptive. F smells better than it tastes. Yeah, what yeah, we... it's it's pretty mid, honestly. If Baja Blast is a five, this is like a three. I'm not sure I'd go that low. I'd say it's probably a. F Actually, yeah, yeah, three. Baja Blast is a five, bro, and that's mostly because it's so available. Yeah. If it yeah. wasn't so available, Baja Blast would be like a seven. Yeah. True. True. But wait, okay, okay. Are we are we taking availability into account for the flavor, or are we rating that on its own? Because like, or not not available. Um, like ubiquitous. I mean, yeah, yeah. Mountain. But I mean, like just flavor alone, I'd say that this is probably a three. I'd say yeah. mountain. I... Yeah, it's a three. Yeah, you know, it's a three. Yeah, it's a three. Viability. Honestly, honestly, if I'm in Buffalo Wild Wings. I may get it once as like the novelty. But there's other drinks that you can get that probably have more flavor. More flavor, yeah. Like, okay, if I go by myself, I'm probably not getting Mountain Dew Legend. Legitimately, I think now that I've had it, the only reason I would get it is if I'm with friends. So I could just be like, I got Mountain Dew Legend. Look at the color of it, man. I got the, <laughs> I got the black Mountain Dew, you know, ooh. Which Ooh's Mountain Dew already had a black label Mountain Dew. Bring it back, Mountain Dew. We want it, please. <laughs> black label Mountain Dew was a gift from the Lord. But, um, yeah, this is... So I think I think we know how this ranking scale is gone. Yeah. This is at the bottom. Next in line is Baja Blast. Next... Er, This is at the bottom. What okay, let's go top to bottom. This, the, obviously. 100%. Top, undisputed top tier. throne lord of the Mountain Dew Kingdom. Undisputed reigning champ. Unless, Sweet lighting. Hands down. Right after that, Purple Thunder. Yeah, Purple Thunder next. Purple Thunder's next. Then it would be Barry Monsoon. Well, no, no. Not, then it's Baja Blast. Yeah, Barry Monsoon, then Baja Blast, then Legend. Legend. Yep. So, Sweet Lightning, Purple Thunder, Baja Blast, Barry Monsoon, and then Legend. At the bottom, Undisputed Mountain Dew Fast Food King is the KFC exclusive Sweet Lightning. Go out there, treat yourselves, get you some. Yeah, I think it was a good video. Yeah. Now, you guys didn't expect this. There is, you know, insert the edit of the, you know, new challenger approaches from freaking oh, Smash yes. Brothers. There's another exclusive flavor that we didn't even tell y'all we were going to be trying. It is the exclusive flavor of the Giraffe Attack YouTube channel. I'm just going just gonna to do a little thing here. And it doesn't matter if we use these cups because we already got some in here. Do a little sweet lightning just as a base. Yes, sir. Sweet lightning base. Let's put the cup back so it stays ah. level. 
little a little sweet lightning base here. You guys are already are already on board. You yeah. Already know, you already know the gist. Yeah, you get what we're doing. You understand. And if you don't get what you're doing, buckle up because a little a little Mountain Dew, Baja Black. Oh my gosh, I made regular Mountain Dew. <laughs> Now that is some better hydration for you. <laughs> Golly. Hey, kings, queens out there. So it comes out like this, call your doctor immediately. <laughs> okay. We are children. How did we finish an entire thing of Mountain Dew Legend? Maybe maybe it is the undisputed king. Well, I mean you did you did uh he did pour out, pour it out, and then re-pour it. Oh, look at that! Look at that car, guys! Liquid Shrek. <laughs> Where's that donkey? Oh my gosh! A little purple thunder. What is wrong with us? We're early 20-somethings doing a YouTube video. <laughs> That's what. Alright. And last but not least, some of that uh, very monsoon. I drink out of the straw, but not out of the cup, so. Yeah. Oh, no. That is Liquid Shrek. That right there. That is Liquid Shrek. Look at Kings that. Kings and Queens, the exclusive flavor of Giraffe Attack, Mountain Don't. Ay! <laughs> this is the best video we've ever done. <laughs> Cheers. What a way to go out. Hey bro, hey bro, Yo, hey what? bro, hey bro, no. What? Y'all sleeping on this because of the color, but hey bro. Mountain, don't not try this. Flavor profile, oh my gosh. It's confusing, but I like it. I like it. I, we can't give it more than sweet lightning. No, it, we can't it, give it more. Than, it's right below it, though. <laughs> Yo, what the heck? This looks like freaking pond water, but it, it actually doesn't taste that bad. <laughs> what even? Gosh, dude, we're going insane with all of this freaking sugar in here. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, gentlemen... Mountain Don't, the exclusive flavor of Giraffe Attack, legitimately a win. Go and try it. I swear you have to try this. Um, yeah, viability. Viability, it's like a two because you have to get like seven different Mountain Dew flavors. Yeah, yeah, you got to mix like five Mountain Dew flavors, one of which really isn't even that much to write home about. But. 